What's up YouTube? Uh, this video is about my uh, Emacs and um, it's a for sale. Yes it is. Um, you know if you guys know me I do have two of them and I am going to get rid of one because there's no need for two and you know I got my new place and you know I need some space so I'm just getting rid of a couple of things and so this is the Emacs so if anyone's interested um, just you know hit me up let me know if uh, if you're interested in my Emacs brushless well, I'm gonna go over some things of what's upgraded on it and show you what's up as you can see from the outside the body's a little messed up I'm gonna repaint it fix it up a little actually I'm gonna scrape whatever paint was left over on it that's the Tamaya paint for you it just doesn't stay on as good as the Pactra so I'm gonna fix the paint up on the body and besides that we have Proline tires all terrain gray tires they're, they're like brand new still got a lot of thread on it and um let's take this off now right here we got um all RPM we have RPM AOMs shock towers and hubs let's see if you can see in there there you go hubs uh, we got RPM bumper Everything's clean. I mean, this thing is like pretty much brand new. I didn't drive it as much. So, um, that's it. Um, we got the big bore shocks from Traxxas. We have aftermarket springs. They're a little stronger than the stocks. So, it's pretty solid for nice bashing. Um, we got all aluminum NTG bulkheads, front and rear. We have um, FLM aluminum chassis, as you can see. It's got um, a steel center dry shaft, front and rear. Um, it's got aluminum plate in the middle for protection. It's got front and rear RPM skid plates. Uh, the only thing on this thing, usually the Emax brushless comes with a 2200 kV motor while well, this one's coming with a 2650 kb motor from castle let's see if you can see there you go um, I decided to change the 2200 I ended up selling it a while ago and I ended up wanted to put the 2650 on here for my girlfriend when she was driving it and it works wonders for her it, was, it wasn't too much power too much torque 2650 was great for her. I think the 2200's overkill. You go through drive shafts like crazy. 2650 is great. You don't need six cell batteries. You can use two two cells. Not expensive. It's perfect, and it's still great for bashing. So, um, it's got steel drive shafts front, as you can see. The thing is on here. I have. Another steel, but on this side I have a plastic because one of the steel dry shafts did break. I know it sucks, but what are you gonna do? Um, so if any more, I mean they're pretty durable. I don't know how I broke it, but it just broke. So that's that. Um, it has titanium pins that actually hold the AOMs in place. They're actually titanium, strong and light, very hard to bend, great for bashing again. It's got stock 2075 servos from Traxxas. Um, what else is upgraded? I think that's it. Everything's pretty solid on this thing. I mean, it's got aluminum brace for the chassis. It all came with the FLM, FLM chassis. But, um, what else? Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, everything is fully upgraded on this truck besides the servo um, oh yeah another thing it, it, I'm selling it with a TQI receiver it's gonna have the readout of the voltage and the temperature of the motor here's the temperature gauge for the motor so um, let you know on your TQI transmitter if you have an iPod touch or an iPhone let you know the voltage and your temperature of your vehicle which is great so that's coming along with the truck. So 
that's it guys um, it's a pretty powerful e um, Emacs it's got fully upgraded on it so anybody is interested please let me know take one more look at it I know it's a it's a beautiful truck and it is coming with um, a wheelie bar I just don't have it on right now so it does come with the wheelie bar that's it so anyone's interested let me know hit me up alright guys gotta go peace